Hi everybody, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to use um, environment mapping, uh, cube maps and things like that in NIFScope. So let's say that, well a lot of times you'll use this for armor and weapons to give it kind of a shiny look, but let's say in a nice cavern I want to have apples, but I want to make them look like they're frozen or something. I'd go ahead and select this apple here, go to BS Tri Shape, BS Lighting Shader Property, Skyrim shader type is default. You want to change this. So we're going to make this environment map. Click away from it. Nothing will happen. Because you have to go to shader flags one right here. You want to click that. Add environment mapping. And click away. So it looks really weird at first. You're like, okay, that's kind of strange. Um, you want to go back to the texture set, uh, set here, right? This is uh, the location of where the two textures are in the Skyrim folder. You want to go to the fifth slot right here. You want to choose. This is directing me to my, uh, it'll direct you probably anywhere, but you want to go to Skyrim Special Edition, Data, Textures, Cube Maps, and this is where I have my cube maps. I'm going to go ahead and choose this Glacier Ice. Hit open. And see, it's got a, a frozen look. So it's pretty cool, right? Let's say I don't want to edit the uh, base texture. And I want to have it look a little bit more blue. You can always go to shader property here and go to the emissive color. So I'm going to give it a kind of a blue look. You don't want it to be as strong. You want to kind of stay down here. But if you want a little stronger, let's go right about here. See? Oh, it's like really blue. All right. That's how you do that. Thanks for watching.